That's all right. Two two recurring words though among the questions that came in for you. What do you think they were? Sorry. Two, there were two recurring words that kept coming in. Dimitri Payet. Payet. Yeah. Lots of questions about him. How much was he responsible for things going wrong at West Ham? How much did he undermine what happened in the dressing room and around the club? How disruptive was that? Uh, he he had a great season. His first season was great. Uh, and then in the next season, uh, he never caused problems. He's a very quiet boy, very quiet guy uh, and all that. But uh, in, his first he, in his first season, he was always joking with the players. He, he was uh, mm. always in a good mood and everything. But, you know, that's, that's, it was a situation that you can't blame anyone. I couldn't blame him. I took my decision and asked the chairman, can I do that? He said, yes, do it. And I said, I have to draw the line. Uh, because the players started to wonder, why is he doing it? What we done wrong? Yeah, yeah. You know. But then I tried to explain to the chairman that uh, when it comes to the situation when one player is too good for the club that he was, Let's be honest, he'd done a great year yeah, for yeah, us, yeah, yeah. but then he had the great Euro 2016. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I could understand him because he was in France, in the national team, and there's Pogba, there's Griezmann, there's Matuidi, yeah. and they all, talk, they yeah. all talk, who are you playing yeah. in the Champions League yeah, yeah, next yeah, week? Yeah. And they go, maybe they play against each other, maybe this. Who are you playing? I'm, I'm at West Ham. So, I understood him. But then I told the chairman, with, unfortunately, nowadays in football, you have two solutions to solve that uh, problems. One is every year, give him a new contract. Every year. Give him a little bit more, a yeah, little yeah. bit more, and you keep him and he's happy. Yeah. Or sell him. The third solution that we were doing, the club or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. was like, no, you have a contract, you stay, yeah. you have to be like, blah, 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 you have to perform. Whose decision? Not they your go decision a little bit like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? To give credit to the chairman, the chairman gave him a new contract only six months after he came to the club. So he didn't want to do it again yeah, after yeah, six yeah. months, you know. So I, but all I said is like, if we want to keep, then let's sell him. Sell him, yeah. Then let's sell him and forget about this. And so it was, it was like that. Uh, but, you know. How long did he uh, stay I, after this? I, I can't remember. If you, when somebody mentions me, Dimitri Payet, I don't think about that. Mm. You think a little like, bit of negativity, yeah, yeah, not yeah. towards me, not towards. I think about the year and year and a half yeah, the, that he gave us enormous joy and so many good performances. Yeah, the quality so goals. The goal here that yeah. he scored yeah. in you a FA Cup quarter final. You have to, yeah. you have ah. to think he made a mistake probably leaving, didn't he? Look, uh, what's he done since? Yeah. Uh, and I can't tell you, was he, where's he, he now, Marcel? Home. Actually, the he didn't thing, go to the club that he probably wanted to go. He wanted to get The only thing I told him, yeah. I told him that, Dimitri, if you go, go to Manchester United. Yeah, go to or a go to Juventus or go to their team, yeah. Don't go to Marseille. But he wanted to go home. And fair enough. If you think yeah. of Dimitri Payet now, home. the only time you think about him is his time at West, West Ham. Yeah. Yeah. What else? Yeah. I don't see another time in his yeah. career where... I've even knew it. I don't he think I knew it. couple Definitely. of goals in the Euros, which Definitely. elevated them again. But actually, but that was his high point since that, then. Even at that time, he yeah. was at West Ham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. he had a better so, time no, there, no, yeah. uh, definitely. Uh, great player, as I said. Great professional in that year. Yeah. Also, everything top, top, top. Which, that, that will surprise a lot of people, because looking from the outside, you think, oh, he's a soul yeah. crazy. He's not bothering. Interesting, training, isn't yeah. it? Louis says, did Slav feel as betrayed as us fans at being promised world-class players for the new stadium and ending up with Zaza, Kaleri, Nordvite, Arbeloa? Or was Slavin responsible for those signings? Not for all of them. It was uh, between chairman, but we used to have a director of football who was, uh, who was not in charge, mm -hmm. but it was like three of us and me. Uh... Did you have final say? Mm, yes. Yes. But, uh, of course, if it was too much money or we don't need this, mm. we don't need yeah. it. Yeah. I could have stopped some players, but right. it wasn't the final say you yeah, can do yeah, what... Yeah. It's, it wasn't like here's 10, 20 That's or whatever. That's different to bringing in who you like, No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Yeah. You I have could... a list and you want him, yeah, him yeah, and him, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. get them, so exactly. you sort of go second, third, fourth, fifth pick, and of exactly. course... They... No, 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 no. 
but let's say uh, it was Payet, Lanzini. To be fair, Lanzini, Lanzini, I told you, yeah, Lanzini yeah. was an uh, Argentinian guy mm -hmm. who went to Al Jazeera. Yeah, yeah, he went to. So yeah, he was a um, completely unknown player for for the whole Premier League, and they, the chairman, let me do it. Mm. You know, he let me did it. So, so I, I have to say that I have the power. Mm. Yeah.